Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Shane Flynn Outdoors. This is a different type of edition. No, it's not our fish chatter. It's just a different type of video, which I'll get into the details in just a minute. But I want to thank our first uh, guest uh, for fish chatter, Brian Piché, again, for being on this channel. And oh, by the way, we'll have another release next week with Brad Hancock of Fish On. And if you have anyone you would like to recommend, any YouTube video, YouTube channels out there that you think we should uh, target for an interview, please let me know. Um, I have no problem reaching out. We do have some other guests that we do have lined up for later on um, that will probably come out in January. Um, several of that will be coming out in January. And just for everyone's uh, information, I will be shutting the channel down um, after the 17th of December. I'll take a few weeks off for the holiday break and enjoy time with friends and family, which I hope you all do as well. And then we'll have our next video come out, I think, on the 10th of January, the first Friday of January 2022. So uh, what about this video? Well, um, I had an unusual situation happen last week when uh, I was out fishing. And I say fishing lightly because what I was doing yes, last week is I bought a new rod and reel, which I mentioned I was going to do on my Black Friday special, and it came in. And I thought it'd be a good idea to go out to my little local pond right here in Seven Lakes where I live in Virginia um, and uh, set up my new bait caster. I know some folks don't fish with bait casters, may get a new bait caster this year. And if you don't know how to set up a new bait caster, it can be a pain in the backside because you're going to end up with a bird nest, bird's nest real easily. So I was out there with, uh, with just my iPhone uh, to film a four or five minute video of what I go through to set up my, uh, my bait caster, which I did. And you will see in this video. And at the end of that video, I was like, yep, I'm just going to throw this a couple more times. Don't plan on catching any fish. Um, just out here to show you how to set this up. Well, I turned that video off and the very next cast, I caught the biggest bass of 2021. It was well over a seven pound bass. Now, truth in advertising here, um, you hear me say this in the video. I did not have my scale and measuring tape with me. I just threw my new rod and reel in the back of the truck and drove a mile down the road here to my little local lake in my neighborhood. Didn't plan on catching a big bass. Now, I do uh, confidently, I confidently think that it was seven, pretty close to an eight pound bass. You can see in the video, it is a very large bass, well over two foot, two foot, two foot long, very fat, healthy bass, which I show in the, in the video. I'm not comfortable saying it's my personal best in Virginia because I don't have an official weight on it. Um, I didn't have a scale, but it was, a, it was a large bass. It was a tank. It was a toad. It's a big one. Um, and was not expecting in any way to catch that fish. Um, it, but it just happened that way, right? You got to get out there and fish and sometimes you get lucky. And I just got lucky. It was really the third cast that I made on that new rod and reel. The first and second you see when I'm setting up the video, the third cast, I caught that big bass. Um, and I think at the end, I thought it was maybe four or five casts, but when I go back and look at the footage, it was actually the third cast on that new rod and reel. So good luck. I'm, I'm going to think, I hope that's a good luck rod and reel in the future. Um, and truth be told, I've already been out with it again and caught three or four more bass in a video that you'll see later on. Um, but I wanted to share it with you. It is, you know, you could think it's controversial because I didn't have an official scale, but you can see it's a big bass and you guys have watched my channel that have watched my channel. know I'm pretty, pretty close on weight of bass on the guest, not off by much very often. And it's a big bass as you can see. So what I'll do here is I'll uh, stop, uh, stop chattering and let you take a look at the video again, a little bit of truth in advertising. I got excited. So I had to chop up the video when this, once I caught the fish because it just doesn't make sense if I didn't because I was I was I'm a, I'm a fisherman I get excited when I catch a big I catch a big bass right or a big fish period so I chopped it up just a little bit try to make sense of catching that big fish um, but as you can see it's a big bass and then afterwards um, after you see the fish I just kind of come back to the house and do a post I caught a big bass quick 45 second minute talk um, so I hope you enjoy it. Uh, like I said, I was very lucky and I was not, I was really not sure I wanted to share it, but I just had to share that PB for the, for this year. It is definitely the biggest bass I've caught in 2021. Here's the video. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Hey everybody. Thanks for tuning in again to Shane Flynn Outdoors. Hey, I thought I'd take a minute and talk to you about how to set up your new bait caster 
uh, when, once you get it spooled up with line right out of the box. Um, I, I mentioned to you to everyone that I was buying a new rod um, and I did buy a new Halo HFX series rod. I got a seven foot three uh, medium heavy action rod uh, with a fast action tip. Um, and I ended up going ahead and buying me another one of the Daiwa C100 Tatula reels. This is the HSC, which is a seven to one gear ratio. Really love these reels. Um, and these, you know, again, these HFX rods are really nice. And uh, I thought I would talk, walk you through how I set this up. All I did was put new line on here. I tied on a spinnerbait, um, which I like to, now I'm gonna change this rod out to my spinnerbait rod from my old one, I think. Uh, I'm gonna try it out anyway, give it a chance. And all I did, tie that on, and I'll walk you through what I do to adjust my reel once I get out of the, out of the box and get the line on it. I, I said this before, it's hard to backlash these Daiwa reels, these Tatula reels, I really like them. So here's the steps that I go through. First, I tighten the brake, which is this guy right here. Tighten and turn that brake just a little bit. And then what I do is I take my rod, and I'm gonna put it up here where everybody can see it, and I drop my spinnerbait with my thumb off. And that fell a little bit too fast. So what I do is I try to slow that down with the brake, so I turn the brake a little bit more. And there's a slow, slow, fall of the bait. I like that bait to take my thumb off the spool, the bait slowly fall down. All right, so I adjusted that brake. Now this brake on the side, what I do is I turn it to half. So this has zero to 20 on here. I turn it to 10, which I just turned it. You can hear it turning. And right there. And I know just for my past with these reels i think 14 is the right setting so i'm turning it i put it on 14 according to that little dot right there okay so now i've adjusted this brake and i've adjusted this brake on the side and it should be ready to cast i'm hoping i don't backlash so let's see how what happens perfect throughout about 30 I'd say 30, 35 yards. It's a half ounce spinner, spinner bait and um, worked out real well. I didn't think about bringing my GoPro, so I'm doing this on my iPhone, but I uh, just thought it'd be a good idea to set up, a, uh, show you how to set up your new bait caster. So again, the dial, dial attached to the C100, HS series seven to one to one gear ratio. Adjust this brake on this side, which is your standard brake, and then the magnetic brake on the side. Again, I like to let my bait take my thumb off the spool like this and let it drop. And I just did. And you see I have no, no backlash in my line, no slack in my line. Maybe it's a tiny, tiny, tiny spool a bump, but not much at all. Not anything to be concerned about. And I set the brake to which I know is 14, but I usually start at 10 on the magnetic brake. Set this to 14 and cast like a, cast like a dream. No backlash at all. So that's how you set up your new bait caster. I'm gonna throw around a couple times. Probably won't catch anything. Just came out here to to, to uh, set up this new rod and reel, and um, hope this is uh, hope you gain something from this when you get your new rod and reel for Christmas. Hopefully, you'll know how to set it up real quick. So hey, thanks for tuning in. I came out here. I just went through my video. I turned it off. I made my first cast, and look at this. I caught a monster bass on my first cast. Soon as I turned my video off, nice big bass on a spinnerbait in December. Big, big bass, close to a seven pounder here. I uh, don't have my measuring tape with me or my thing, my uh, my uh, my scale, but I'm pretty positive this is right at a seven pound bass in my local little pond here at Seven Lakes, Virginia, and landed the seven pound bass in December. Hey. Watch Shane Flynn outdoors, and I'll show you how to catch big bass. No time, no matter what time of year it is. Hey everybody, just came back to the uh, house after uh, fishing there at the lake and catching that seven pound bass. And I uh, just wanted to follow up, you know, with that way I set my reel up and give it a little bit more of a close up on what I've done um, when I was talking about the brakes and the magnetic brake. And I want to get a little bit closer where everybody can see. I'm talking about the brake, it's this knob right here. 
this is what I adjust. And then the magnetic brake is on the other side, which I adjusted as well. Um, pretty good, pretty good day of fishing for five minutes and catching a seven pound bass and anointing a good, I'm going to call this the, the best bass rod I ever had because it's the first, maybe the fourth, fifth cast on this rod and catching a seven pound bass. I'm going to anoint this a good, a good rod. Um, it'll, it'll probably tell me otherwise in the, in, in the fishing trip to come, but, uh, can't say enough about these halo H HFX rods. If I was getting sponsored, they should be, uh, throwing some money at me right now. <laughs> so anyways, uh, Hey, thanks for tuning in. It was a blast to go out there and catch a big bass. Um, whilst, you know, trying to show you folks how to set up your bait casting reel. Um, every once in a while you get lucky, but if you're not out there fishing, you can't catch one. So even though it's December, it's a little cool outside, you can still catch big fish. Um, you just got to get out and go. I'm going to probably go this weekend. The weather is supposed to get a little bit warmer. The winds are supposed to be blowing out of the south, southwest. Um, and when you get that here in Virginia, you usually get good fishing weather. So hopefully we'll catch some. And um, hopefully I'll catch another seven pounder uh, or a bigger. But uh, hey, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate everyone who watches. And until next time, tight lines and good luck fishing.